Oh my gosh, this is so incredible. I cannot believe we're here and we got blue skies flying in. Just mind blowing. What's up guys? Welcome to Greenland. We are exploring this beautiful island here in the Arctic with Quark Expeditions on board their brand new ship, the Ultramarine, and we could not be more excited. The itinerary we are on is the Greenland Adventure, explore by sea, land and air, and we have a fantastic nine days lined up. We're so excited to see the landscape of Greenland. We know there are going to be icebergs, we're going to a village and meeting the local people. So stay tuned while we show you guys what it's like to travel for nine days in southern Greenland on board Ultramarine with Quark expeditions. Okay we're here in the Reykjavik airport uh, we're about to find the Quark team so we're all checked in for our flight to Nasa Suak in Greenland. Good afternoon to your passengers welcome aboard this Iceland aircraft. Okay we're flying into Greenland now and the scenery is insane. Oh my god. <laughs> Welcome to Greenland! I'm speechless. We are in Nasasuk, the southern part of Greenland and we're uh, just going to go through customs now and then it's a transfer to our ship. Oh my gosh, this is so incredible. I cannot believe we're here and we've got blue skies flying in. Just mind blowing. Welcome to Greenland! We have made it, we got off the bus, the Ultramarine, our beautiful ship is right here. <laughs> Whoa. We're gonna go check into our room now. Oh, oh you can go first. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh, thank you so much, Nieves. You're welcome, sir. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Oh, wow. What? <gasps> this is like an actual giant shower. So the Ultramarine is Quark's newest ship. It is a purpose-built polar exploration ship. We're gonna do a full-on ship tour and give you guys a view of everything that they have here on board. But for now, we're just gonna get settled. We're gonna take a couple of pictures and we're gonna run upstairs and have dinner. No, that's all right. Yeah. 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 Greenland, like right there. First thing we did when we got up this morning was head out straight onto the bow with a coffee in hand and just check out the amazing scenery. Saw a minky whale go by, a couple of dolphins, which is pretty cool, and the mountains here in Greenland, really jagged, really picturesque, and the lighting is just perfect. expedition leader threw a bombshell on us. We were meant to go up through this beautiful sound and do some zodiac cruising. However, the weather is perfect. Not a drop of wind, high clouds. It's just amazing. True expedition fashion, Ali has decided to completely change the schedule. As we are expecting some challenging visibility in the coming days, I thought today we should just make the best use of the visibility and try and offer you a helicopter flight scene. Now let's get you seeing Greenland from the sky. You just gotta roll with the punches when you're on one of these Arctic expeditions and that's what we do here with Quark. So when the opportunity comes and you gotta go on a helicopter, why not?
insane. Oh my gosh, that was like one of the best things we have done. We flew in a helicopter over a beautiful glacier. Oh, it was crazy. <sighs> and the, the pilot, he then <sighs> ducked down over the mountain into another glacier and then through the fjord. And... and and all doing this while he was in our ear on the speaker explaining the glacier, the mountains to us around. Like, it was just sensational. The, truly mind-blowing. <sighs> it, it's hard to put into words. So we got off the Zodiac on our first shore landing and the first thing we did was throw on these mosquito head nets. So the team at Quark threw them in our locker and said, trust us, you're going to want them. And they weren't wrong. We got off the Zodiac and touched down here on land. We just got smashed with mosquitoes. So first thing we did, throw these on. Second thing we did was hike on up to this beautiful viewpoint overlooking this glacier here in Narsuk, southern Greenland. This mountain here that looks like Half Dome is over a thousand meters high, just rising straight up there out of the ground. It is very, very impressive. The glacier itself is between 12 and 15,000 years old. It is receding. And where we're standing right now is where it used to be. But because of climate change, it is now unfortunately all the way back there. So hopefully it doesn't start receding any faster, but time will tell. Ultramarine is chilling out there in the bay. And we're just going to keep on going for a little bit of a hike and just soaking up this beautiful, stunning landscape. That was an incredible day here on the Ultramarine. We got to see Greenland from the sea, from the land and from the air. It was just phenomenal, hard to put into words what we managed to capture today. But the night has come to an end and tomorrow is going to be an even bigger, amazing day. We have a bunch of really cool activities planned. We're going to fill you all in on those tomorrow, but it's a pretty massive day. So what I'm doing now is just backing up all the photos. Alicia is charging all the cameras and we've got a pack because something epic is happening tomorrow. We've just found out because again, Ali, the expedition leader, has completely flipped the itinerary and changed it because we've only got a very short window when this weather is really nice. So it's all been changed and let's see what it's like in the morning. But promise, it's gonna be amazing. Good night. It is day three of our Greenland adventure here Woo! on board the Ultramarine and Ali, the expedition leader, has announced that we have a pretty epic activity lined up this morning. We are going heli-hiking. This is the first heli-hiking mission and we are so stoked. The helicopter is going to take us somewhere up in the mountains, drop us off and we're going to hike for the morning and then later on it will pick us up. You can see the weather is a little bit grey and wet out there but that's not going to stop the helicopters from getting up in the air and dropping us off. So they're prepping the birds now, we're just waiting for them to make the announcement that we're going to head on up board the chopper and fly on out of here. Woo! We have landed, what a flight coming in. The clouds are all foggy. It was clear when we came in and now it's fogged out as you can see over there. We are just walking slowly because we're waiting for one more helicopter with the medium fast group. And then we're going to uh, do a little walk. We've got an hour and a half to walk around this area and check out the terrain and the views and all this beautiful landscape. It is so surreal just walking through this incredibly remote region here in Greenland. Our guides just told us that even though there are some Greenlandic farmers out here, the likelihood that anyone has actually walked on this exact terrain, any human, is pretty much zero. So, we may be the first people ever to go hiking through here. I mean, definitely the first tourists to ever go hiking through here. So, just embracing it and the clouds keep rolling in and out. 
just phenomenal. At the end of the summer, they have this like, a, like it looks like a blueberry. Maybe find a viewpoint if the fogs allow us. Made it to the end. It's about as far as we can go because we have to go back and meet the chopper now. The flies got super bad at the end, so we pulled our nets out. You definitely have to take them everywhere with you because I had no idea how bad these were. Yeah, as soon as that wind dies down, they just start smashing it. You can probably see it on the video now, just flies buzzing around everywhere. They don't bite you, they're no. just kind of annoying. So lucky we have these. And now it's about a 20 minute walk back to the chopper landing site. Yeah. And then that's it for our incredible first heli hiking experience here in Greenland. It was so amazing. Good morning! Good morning guys, as you can see we are not on board the Ultramarine right now. We have actually done a shore excursion to a very special place here in Greenland. A little village, and when I say little there's only 100 people that live here, called Apilatok. And we are going to be hanging out here for the morning, learning a little bit about the Greenlandic culture here, checking out the village, learning about the way of life they have down in this part of the country. It is a little fishing village, so there's little boats everywhere and very gorgeous, cute, colourful homes everywhere. So we have a whole bunch of things planned today. We're going to go check out the church, do yep. a hunting experience. We are going to play a soccer game. It's oh. the ultramarine team against the local champions. We feel like we're going to get our butts kicked, but it's going to be a lot of fun. Maybe they might be soft on us. A pillatok means red mountain, named after the large peak that rises above the village. The area has been inhabited since the 19th century and this current village was established in 1922. It can only be accessed by water making it very remote. In Greenland the buildings are painted different colours so that the visitors in the old days could easily find what they're looking for. For example, red was for churches, schools and stores, yellow for hospitals and black for police. This isn't really used today but the tradition has lived on. We made it to the top of the hill! There's the boat! Hunting and fishing is the main industry here in Apilodoc and we were lucky enough to meet a local man named Tamur who is the best hunter in the region. He showed us a polar bear he recently killed which was pretty confronting to see but he explained how the village has a very strict quota. They only hunt one or two a year and use every single part of the bear to help sustain the village throughout the harsh winters. After meeting Tamur we played a game of football against the Southern Greenland champions who naturally beat us pretty easily and then spent a few hours exploring the village. This is the general store here in Apilatok where you can buy pretty much anything you would ever need from obvious things like food and drinks to cooking gear, thermoses engine oil, you got house maintenance equipment, you have dog food, you have art supplies. It is fully stocked. Now we're not going to actually buy anything because supplies are short here in the town and they don't know when the next shipment's coming in. So we'll leave all the stuff for the locals who obviously need it a lot more than we do. But it's very interesting to come in here and see this tea, coffee. They love their coffee here in Greenland by the way and it's good. Clothing. Amazing place. We're about to get on the Zodiac to head back to the ship and all I can say is what an experience to come to the mainland of Greenland and visit some locals in their village and experience their hospitality, welcoming gestures. We played soccer with them. It was just absolutely beautiful. We had some of their delicious coffee in the cafeteria. We had a gentleman play beautiful music before us and the church choir, that was very emotional. It was just beautiful. Definitely sign up for the hunting and cultural experience. You learn all about how they hunt in the area and how they survive off the ocean. Tamu, our uh, hunter, taught us all about how he catches whales, polar bears and all different other seals during different times of the year and how they use every part of the animal. It was very fascinating and very interesting. Ooh, back to the ship. Hello, Viking. 
Kings. Hello. <laughs> Today I welcome you to Hedgehog Ness and ask you to take a step back in time. Next little stop in our Southern Greenland adventure is this beautiful old Viking settlement called Herhofnes, which I'm probably saying wrong, so I'm going to see if I can find an actual Viking to teach me how to say the name of this place properly. Dani, are you actually a Viking? Yeah, of course I am. <laughs> Welcome in Hill Herjolfsnes. The Vikings came here in 985 and this is in fact a Viking settlement that we think was a trading post because we're at the very southern part of Greenland and it's not a very strategic place to build uh, a good farm farming community but it would be an excellent trading post so this place kind of at the opening of the fjord captures the ships that are trying to sail here from Iceland, for example. So right now we're just going for a bit of a walk. We're checking out the old ruins that are here and really just admiring the beautiful landscape. All these icebergs around, these huge cliffs coming out of the ocean. And there's a bunch of wildflowers here too, which are really, really nice. So we'll try to find some of those. Just go take some photos, just stretch the legs and then we'll be heading back to the ship soon. Not every day in Greenland can be absolutely spectacular with perfect light and high clouds. As you can see, we've woken up this morning to very low visibility and a low cloud base. But that's okay, because Ali, our expedition leader, decided to mix things up a little bit, have a bit of a later start, waiting for the visibility to clear. And to make things extra moody, we are visiting Hvalsi, Whale Island, which is an old Norse settlement and there is the oldest church in Greenland here, or well, the ruins of the church anyway. So we're gonna go for a bit of a wander, check out this cool stone church that was built many, many centuries ago, and just enjoy this very dramatic landscape. Not too sure what the weather will do a little bit later. I don't think it really matters because when you're in the polar regions, it can just chop and change at any point. So we're gonna make the most of it whenever we can. Let's go for a bit of a walk and see what we can find. have the church, there's an arch window in that direction, mm -hmm. um, and it has a really important detail. It's wider on the inside, narrower on the outside, oh. which is a detail that was prominent in more like Britain, United Kingdom churches, mm -hmm. but not a detail you find anywhere in the Icelandic settlements. Ali just made her PA announcement then, telling us we need to get ready for our final excursion for the day. Now we've all been given a few options because it's taken us a little while to get to where we need to because of the weather outside. We can either visit some hot springs, some natural hot springs just outside of a little village, go for a zodiac cruise, or go for a little bit of a paddling excursion in the kayaks that quark expeditions have. Now we haven't been kayaking yet, and even though the weather's not overly favorable, there's a lot of low cloud about and visibility is not great, you can't say no to going kayaking in Greenland. So we're going to put on all of our base layers, get rugged up, and here we go. Hello, hello, buenas tardes. That's Gordo. Amigos, good afternoon. This is a call for the paddlers in the Viking yes, group. Yes, that's us. You Let's go. Sign up for paddling, and you're in the Viking group. This is a message for you. Okay, team kayak is all suited up, and we are ready. Yeah! Just going for a cheeky little paddle in Greenland. Actually, I'm not doing any paddling. My pilot, my captain in front, Alicia, is doing all the paddling. This is crazy. When we were on the ship, you couldn't see anything. Visibility was like 50 meters. In fact, you still can't, you can't see anything that way. However, now that we've gotten closer to the land, the mountains have popped out, which is incredible. You can see them just in front of Alicia there. It is time for the 
with it. So any part of the voyage, the power punch. Uh, it's our last full day here in Greenland and we have woken up to the most spectacular day. Look at that. There is the Greenland ice sheet right behind us. Can you believe that? Right there. Right there. We have a big day planned. Going to be jumping in a bird. Yes. Going for a flight over the ice sheet. Yep. And if all goes well, we might actually get to touch down on it. Oh, so exciting. And the fact we've got blue skies, the weather is really still. There's no winds. Apparently it just keeps getting better this afternoon. It's we couldn't have asked for a better day. So lucky, so lucky. So we just landed on the Greenland ice sheet. I got the co-pilot seat, first time. Oh my God, absolutely amazing. I didn't realize everyone in the helicopter could hear me. I was like a little kid at Christmas, like woo, taking off and it was just amazing. Absolutely amazing. These helicopter pilots are just, it's, it's they're mind blowing. Watching the, them do their things, the controllers, the view, you've got the full glass. It's yeah, definitely make sure you can try and get a spot in the co-pilot seat but you're not doing any piloting at all. <laughs> Where are you standing? On the Greenland ice sheet. A travel bucket list. Well guys, it is the last night here on board the Ultramarine and they are having a bit of a celebration. We're gonna get a group photo, a toast to the captain and everyone has come out here onto the heli deck for this momentous occasion. This Greenland adventure has been absolutely incredible. As you can see, the atmosphere out here is buzzing. Everyone is stoked on life. Everything that's happened over the last week has been pretty incredible. Helicopter rides, there's been some camping, there's been some kayaking. People have been getting up there doing some mountain biking by helicopter, which has never happened before. It's hard to explain just how cool this trip has been with Clark Expeditions. But for now, we're gonna do a toast to the captain, everyone's on the champagne, and we're gonna celebrate in style on this last night here on board the Ultramarine. And they do it.
We're back where we started in Nasa Suak, which means, unfortunately, our Greenland adventure with Quark Expeditions has come to an end. It was a phenomenal nine days. We cannot believe the amount of adventures we managed to jam pack into that itinerary. There was camping, there was heli sightseeing, we even got to stand on the Greenland ice sheet, which was an experience I don't think we are ever going to forget. I'll tell you what, for our first experience here in the Arctic, coming to Southern Greenland with Quark Expeditions was absolutely fantastic. If you like the video, hit that thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications as we bring out a new video every week. Thanks for watching guys and we'll see you on the next adventure.